Hi, my name is Lisa Huggins and I'm Senior Registered Nutritionist at Eurest. With health and wellbeing moving to the forefront of most of our minds, there seems to be an ever-growing amount of confusing and often conflicting nutrition messages out there. So today I will be sharing with you what exactly a healthy balanced diet looks like and how this can support your physical, mental and immune health and how this often links with your own personal resilience and work productivity. I'll be sharing with you my health hacks and top tips on choosing nourishing meals, whether you're working from home or eating from workplace restaurants. Eating a balanced diet, staying hydrated, as well as leading an active and healthy lifestyle helps to form the foundations of our physical and our mental health. Eating healthily and staying hydrated influences many aspects of our well-being, from helping to support our immune systems to helping to reduce the risk of developing certain types of diseases, such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease and some forms of cancer. Eating healthily can also help us to maintain a healthier weight and reduce the feelings of tiredness and fatigue, both of which can have an impact on our mood and our productivity. So to build strong foundations for our health, it's really important we're mindful of our diet and our lifestyle choices. So what is a healthy balanced diet? In the UK, we use the Eat Well Guide to help depict what a healthy balanced diet looks like. As you can see, there are five main food groups and the proportions we should be eating them in across our week to help us get a really good mix of nutrients to help us stay healthy. So the first food group I'm going to talk to you about is the green section, fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables should make up at least one third of our diets and we should be aiming to eat at least five portions of fruits and vegetables each day. Unfortunately, as a population, we're not doing too well at meeting this recommendation. On average, we eat less than three portions of fruit and vegetables each day. It's not only fresh fruits and vegetables that contribute towards your five a day. Frozen, canned, dried, juices and smoothies all count too. So what counts as one of your five a day? Well, for fresh, frozen and canned fruits and vegetables, the portion size is 80 grams. This is roughly the same amount that can fit in the palm of your hand. Another third of our diet should be made up of foods such as bread, rice, potatoes, pasta and other starchy carbohydrate foods. The easiest way to do that is to include some at each meal time and use sometimes as snacks. Many people tend to be quite surprised about how much starch carbohydrate food is recommended in our diet. It's a really important food group as it provides our bodies with its preferred source of energy, as well as a range of vitamins, minerals and fibre. It's recommended that we eat three to four portions of starchy carbohydrate food each day. We're also recommended to choose whole grains wherever possible. Moving to the next food group, dairy and alternatives. Dairy foods provide us with a very useful source of protein and calcium. It also contains vitamins B2, B12, vitamin A, and also a very useful source of iodine. So if we're choosing to replace dairy in our diet with plant-based alternatives, it's really important that we're choosing the varieties that have those nutrients added into them. We are recommended to eat two to three portions of dairy or dairy alternatives each day. The next food group, the pink section, includes foods such as beans, pulses, eggs, fish, meat, and other protein foods. We're encouraged to eat two to three portions from this food group each day and variety really is key. Fat is also an essential part to a healthy balanced diet. However, because fat is high in calories, we only need to eat it in small amounts. The types of fats we use for our cooking, spreading and baking is also really important. We're encouraged to use healthier, unsaturated fats, such as those based on vegetable, rapeseed or olive oils. This is because unsaturated fats can help lower the cholesterol levels in our blood. Outside of our food group circle sits another group of foods, which are high in fat, sugar and salt. This group of foods includes biscuits, chocolate, sweets, crisps, cakes, deep fried foods, honey, as well as sugar sweetened beverages and breakfast cereals they contain very little in the way of beneficial nutrition. The Eat Well Guide provides us with a guide to how many calories or how much energy we need to eat to stay healthy. 
An average woman needs around 2,000 calories each day, whereas an average male needs around 2,500 calories. However, the amount of food, and therefore the amount of calories we need each day to stay healthy, can vary depending on a range of different factors, including how active we are. So that is quite a lot of information to take in. So here are my top five tips to help kickstart your journey to a more balanced and healthier way of eating. Tip number one, use frozen fruits and vegetables. Tip number two is to eat regular balanced meals and consume nourishing snacks. Tip number three, consider taking a vitamin D supplement. Tip number four, make it easy to stay hydrated. Tip number five, use your meal times as an excuse to take a break. By aligning your diet with the Eat Well Guide and choosing nourishing meals and snacks, even if you just take on board a couple of the top tips I've just shared with you, you'll be taking the steps in the right direction to build a strong foundation for your physical and mental health. You'll also be fueling your performance and your resilience too. Thank you so much for listening. And if you have any further questions or want more information, please do visit Nourish Life.